This is Senator Richard Southern joins us now with today's business headlines. And Richard, the cost of borrowing money is going up once again. I mean, I, 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 Mel, it's good to see you. The, uh, the Bank of Canada just, it's nonstop. Another interest rate hike today. It went up the interest rate another quarter of a percent to 5%. It's at 5%. This is the highest we've seen since 2001. Of course, the intent of all of these rate hikes we've seen over the past year, year and a half, is to cool off inflation. But you know, inflation has been cooling off. It eased to 3.4% in May. Still, the bank went, went ahead with this hike today. And Tiff Macklin, the governor of the Bank of Canada, says that the economy slowed some. That's the intent of these rate hikes. But he says all the money many have saved uh, through the COVID pandemic has uh, kept interest rates high. People have been spending their savings, he says. Variable rate mortgages, they are going up. Anything tied to a prime lending rate, like your car loan or your line of credit is going up. The prime rate to 7.2%. If there's any good news here, Melissa, it's that many economists believe this may be, just maybe might be the last rate hike for a while. We'll see. Okay, now rising interest rates could have a big impact in Ontario's cottage country. Cottage sales are actually falling, uh, apparently, and it's not too much of a surprise. I mean, when we have borrowing costs this high, you kind of want to sort of maybe focus on your, you know, your primary finances and Maybe you don't have a lot of money left around for recreational properties like this. For example, the Peterborough cottage market has reportedly seen a 50% decline in sales over where it was last year. Uh, cottage real estate market being, you know, falling on both ends. The, the, the buyers are turned off by the higher mortgage rates. The sellers, they're becoming more willing to wait, especially if they think they'll get a better price down the road. Melissa, we're going to have to... Uh, cancel those big Muskoka Russo Lake cottages you and I had an eye, eye, eyeball on or two. Oh, that's depressing now. <laughs> I know. Well, it remains to be seen, but if the rake hike will help slow the economy, um, but we already know that inflation will have a big impact on one of this year's biggest shopping seasons. Um, you'll forgive me, the kids, if they're watching, will forgive me for mentioning back to school. We just got out of school a week or two ago, but uh, the economists and the experts already looking at back to school shopping season. And yes, it's expected to drop. Sales are expected to drop for the first time in nine years due to inflation. Deloitte's 2023 back to school survey projecting total spending per child to fall 10% to 597 bucks. Parents expected to spend less on clothing and technology. However, uh, sales of school supplies, you know, pencils, paper and whatnot expected to hold up. This is an important thing to look at, whether kids like it or not, Melissa, because back to school shopping, the second most important time of year for retailers behind just Christmas.